and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you are new here then hello my name is Kate I hope you're all doing really well so today's video as you know by the title is a spring capsule wardrobe video and I always know when the season is changing when the requests for the capsule wardrobe videos come in and I love how it's become a bit of a tradition now that every season I do an updated one and in all honesty they're probably very similar but yeah I feel like style naturally evolves trends slightly change and capsule wardrobes are always going to be on trend because they are the basic core items you need in your wardrobe to build outfits and just to have that ease knowing that you have everything you need to make a good outfit if you haven't already please make sure you go subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and yeah let's get into the video okay so let's start off with the top half the jumper I'm wearing, I featured in a recent spring haul. If you haven't watched it already, I've got some really nice new pieces in. This is a cashmere knit from Lily Silk. And I think even though spring tends to be a bit warmer, there definitely is still room for knitwear. Not like the chunky cable knits and anything too warm, but definitely like the fine knits like this that are lightweight. And as you can see, this has a nice v-neck as well. With this being black, it will go with any kind of bottoms. It's so easy. You can wear this with jeans, tailored trousers, leggings, Dress up, dress down, super versatile, good core staple piece. That was a lot of words in your wardrobe. And then another option for jumpers as well is one like this, which is more of a crew neck. Again, this is a lighter weight knit, nothing too heavy. This is a fairly new one from And Other Stories. It's just really soft and just a great basic. Knits are also good for that transitional period when it's still kind of cold, but we are getting into spring. And obviously these are very layerable. Layerable, is it even a word? But <laughs> you can put a little tank on underneath this. And then if it gets too warm, you can just pop this over your shoulders. I feel like putting jumpers on your shoulders is a bit of a controversial one for some reason. Whenever I do it on my Instagram, people are like, why have you got a jumper on your shoulders? But I feel like it's an extra layer and element to an outfit and it makes it a little bit more interesting. And of course it's practical as well. With a lot of the pieces I'm showing, they can probably also work for an autumn capsule wardrobe, but I'm trying to keep it springy as possible. I've just gone into my drawer and picked up a bunch of basic tees. I have so many of these. And which style you go for just really depends on how each individual fit makes you feel, what makes you feel the most confident. Um, so I'll show you a few different options. First of all, we have like this little vest and this is a cropped number. I feel like the cropped tees give it that more casual feel. They're also really great for layering with any more cropped jackets. I just feel like it balances out quite nicely. Uh, this one is from Zara, but honestly, I get them from all over the place. Skims, Amazon, Arquette. I also got the Loewe one, which is obviously a lot more expensive. The great thing about capsule wardrobes is they can really adapt to anyone's budget. And there's certain items that I do think are worth investing in a bit more. And in general, I would say invest in your items, especially things like coats. Because for example, say you get a coat that is 200 pounds, versus one that's 50 pounds. The one that's 50 pounds may last you a year or so, whereas the one that's 200 pounds will see you through and through and through each year again and again and again. But honestly, with these kind of little tops, I don't see a huge difference in quality between kind of each tier of the high street or high end. I have another one from Zara. This one is more of like a fine knit one though, slightly different shape. And yeah, I'd say you want these basics in like the black, white, I don't tend to wear neutral ones that often because sometimes I think it can like make you look a bit naked. But yeah, I do have these in most colors. And then there's also the option for a bodysuit. I've got this one from New Look. These New Look bodysuits are insane. They're so good. They really like hug you tightly. And, and they're a nice like soft, breathable cotton. I think it's a cotton? Yeah, 96% cotton. Super affordable, really great basics. Another top I love wearing, but I don't wear these in the spring, are the oversized, um, like kind of heavyweight tees from Arquette and Naked. I'll put some pictures up on the screen. And the reason I don't wear these in spring is because these tops look best when they're on their own. And if you layer them up, they can just like the sleeves are too baggy. So that's why I like to go for tighter tops in the spring when I do layer a little bit more. I also love to wear shirts in spring. And I feel like this type of striped shirt is perfect for the season. And um, you can also wear this in summer as well. Uh, this one is from Abercrombie, really nice material, really nice quality. It's got the front pocket. It's an oversized fit. This isn't a size small, but it's definitely quite oversized. And yeah, I feel like spring's just the perfect season for these kind of shirts. A nice way to wear them is tucked in and then ruching up the sleeves. I think ruching up the sleeves make it, makes it go from 
kind of corporate and smart to really cool. You can also wear it undone with a little top underneath. You can tie it at the front. There's so many different ways to wear a shirt. So these are a really great core staple. Another shirt option is a nice silky satiny style. So a little bit different to the oversized, more dad kind of look. This one is from Zara. It's um, got makeup stains on it actually. This needs a good wash. This one feels a lot more feminine and flowy and it's actually a really nice option as well to wear in the evening. Because it is that satiny material that definitely lends itself to more glam outfits. Now for blazers, coats and jackets. Starting off with this gorgeous cropped cardigan from Bash. I love the gold buttons that go down. It's also in this really nice crochet material with padded shoulders. So there's a lot of like small details on this that just make it look so expensive. Um, by the way, everything I mentioned will be linked down below. If there's anything of like a really high price point, I will link a um, similar one as well. Or if anything's out of stock, then again, I will link similar. Yeah. I absolutely love wearing these cardigans in the spring. They also work well in the autumn, um, but I just think this colour lends itself so perfectly to the season. And yeah, they just have a certain elegance to them. They're obviously quite, um, I don't know, I guess they are quite mature, so you have to style them in a way that looks young or like that looks cool, otherwise you kind of look like a granny. I have a similar one to this from Mango, which I styled up in a picture over on Instagram, I think last year. And I started with like blue jeans and some little heels and it looked so nice. So it's definitely an outfit I'm gonna be recreating this spring. Blazers are one of those things that are just amazing all year round. I will use my blazers every single week, no matter what the weather. My advice to anybody starting a capsule wardrobe is getting a blazer in all of the colors. So 100% black, obviously. I haven't included it in this video though because um, I wanted to keep things quite light for spring. Um, but yeah, black, a nice kind of light color, camel, white, obviously. I really love the color of this one from Zara. I have to admit, their blazers are just the perfect cut and the perfect fit between like oversized, but they still look feminine. The only thing with Zara blazers though is I've had my black one for about maybe two years now and I can tell it's on its last leg. Whereas my more expensive um, blazers have just really stood the test of time. But yeah, anyway, I love this one regardless. It's such a nice color. And um, I also like the fact it's got a little bit of black on it because often I do style it with things that are black and it just really ties and marries in the outfit all together nicely. Okay, so the trench coat, autumn and spring, would not be the same without your classic trench coat. And this is definitely an item I think everybody needs in their wardrobe. I got mine from the Burberry Vista Village outlets. So I think this was about half price actually, which is obviously an incredible saving. Obviously this is a designer item, so a lot higher price point, but these stand the test of time. You see like the really, really old vintage Burberrys and they just still look amazing and just so timeless. This style was in the Westminster and it's quite oversized. I think I did size up to this one. Yeah, I wear this in a size 10. So when I do wear this, I try not to style it with too many baggy items. Like I'll try and style it with maybe like a top and some straight leg jeans, or if I'm gonna wear wide leg trousers, I'll style it with like a small kind of crop top just so you don't get completely like swamped in loads of fabric basically. And honestly, I don't think there's a single outfit that doesn't work with a trench. I'll link some other ones as well down below. Cos have the nicest one in at the moment. It looks better in real life than it does on the website, but um, I'll link it because yeah, it's just gorgeous. So if you're looking for something a bit warmer than the cropped cardigans, a bit of like a cropped style jacket or bomber works really nicely. I mean, this isn't super cropped, but it's definitely not long. Um, I've mentioned this a few times on um, across my channels. This is from Bash. I got this as a bit of an alternative to the viral Zara bomber jacket because um, I loved it, but the quality just was not good. So um, yeah, I'm so happy with this, honestly. The quality is next level. It just feels super premium. Um, I always get complimented when I wear it out and about. And the last jacket I have to show is a new one from Cos. I absolutely love this. It actually comes in like a two piece set. So it's the jacket and a skirt as well. I did pick up the skirt, but I'm gonna get it tailored because it's a little bit big. Yeah, it's just really basic, really simple, very like angular and boxy, which I really like. And I think like this paired with some jeans some little um, like either loafers or kitten heels, little black top underneath would look so nice and just so chic. And just gives that like really clean look as well. Um, so yeah, I picked this up in an extra small. Really excited to wear this. Actually, do you know what? I've already worn it, so I don't know why I've still got the tag on. I am the worst for leaving tags on all my items. I don't know why. It's some like strange mental block that I have. 
here we go the tag is off so yeah you can dress this down very casually but you can also dress this up i wore this as the set i put a picture on screen um to an event the other day okay, so now on to bottoms and i've just realized we actually only have trousers and jeans um no skirts no shorts no skirts and no dresses and i do tend to wear all of those things but then i was looking back at all my photos and i realized i actually don't wear those items in spring more in the autumn when it's a little bit warmer and then things like shorts i'll obviously wear in the summer so summer capture wardrobe will be happening of course let me know when you guys want it anyway i'm going to start off with the trousers i'm wearing right now these trousers i have purchased twice because i left them in a hotel room in france which is really sad they're from reese um and they're just like really simple tapered tailored trousers they're really nice soft off-white color they have pockets they have belt loops so just a really great all-round trouser and i really do believe that reese are one of the best for tailored trousers i just love them but the only thing is they're quite plain and they don't really hug you in at the waist so i do always wear a belt with them unless i'm wearing something like over the top of the waistline but we're going to go into accessories um towards the end of the video these are obviously a bit of a smarter option you can wear these in the office you can wear these for meetings um, but you can also dress it down like how I've done today just by adding a bit of a slouchy jumper Maybe add some chunky loafers or something and it just makes it feel a little bit more cool So onto jeans, these are definitely an all year round kind of staple not just for spring But there are definitely certain styles or certain colours that I go to more in spring Especially the blue jean um, These get their most amount of wear during the spring. This pair is from Everlane and they've aged so well. I think I've had them about two years. And yeah, the denim has just like really softened and they've really like molded to the shape of my body. They're so great for jeans. They're also really sustainable as well as a brand. So I really love them. And yeah, blue jeans are a nice way of injecting a bit of color into your wardrobe if you're like me and really tend to go for all of the neutrals. Yeah, these give me like my bit of color fix. I also wanted to show you my gray jeans as well because I think black jeans, you can definitely wear them in the spring for sure, but sometimes they feel a little bit heavy. So going for like that washed black gray just lightens it up a little bit and makes it feel a bit more fresh. This is a really old pair from Topshop. I don't know if they still sell them, if they do, I'll link them down below along with alternatives. For example, Evelyn also have this wash. And yeah, these go with just about well yeah everything on this barrel actually so many ways to style and they have that really casual feel to them you might have noticed as well i like to go for the mum style fit which is kind of like a straight tapered leg um i just find that's the most flattering on me i also think it's flattering on all body shapes and sizes one question i always get asked on instagram is um do i think skinny jeans are out the answer is yes and no i think like skinny Blue jeans, for example, I would say are, I guess, a little bit uncool now. But then like black jeans, black skinny jeans, for example, I think they're fine to wear still. I still wear mine and I still love them. And the one pair of jeans I've missed are my white mum jeans. But I thought to keep things simple and to keep the capsule wardrobe as concise as possible, I'm gonna skip them because obviously they're kind of like a casual version of what I'm wearing right now in terms of shape and color. This gorgeous pair of tailored navy trousers from Lily Silk. These are real silk, so they are a little bit on the pricey side, but Cos and Abercrombie both have some really similar uh, wide leg um, trousers, so I'll link those down below as well. But yeah, I really, really love the navy, especially when it's against like the creamy tones, so gorgeous. Again, I think it lends itself really nicely to spring summer and yeah all of the other bottoms i'm showing you are like the tapered fit so i think it's nice to have a bit of um to have a bit of difference in the shapes and i really love the fit other colors though that will work in the wide leg tailor trouser are all of the neutrals you know whites creams and beiges that kind of thing i obviously haven't included any skirts in this uh, capsule wardrobe but one skirt i do really like in the spring on other people but not so much on me are the long silk kind of midi skirts i think they look really gorgeous just really elegant but um yeah i don't know why but i just don't feel my best self when i'm wearing them so that's why i haven't included it on two shoes and accessories you would have seen all of the accessories i use um throughout the styling clips but just to go over them one by one first up a pair of white trainers i wear these all year round of course um but i think especially in spring there's just something really clean and um fresh about them especially obviously if they are clean. This pair is from Axel Arigato. These are great because they are uh, leather, so they're just quite clean, super easy. I also featured um, this pair of suede loafers. These are from um, Laura Piana, and these are kind of like what they're known for, the, their summer walk shoes. These are the most comfortable shoes 
ever. I absolutely love them and I haven't had that much of a chance to wear them because I bought them um, kind of just before winter. Some may say they look like your nan's shoes, but I adore them. But yeah, if they're not for you, just some sort of um, neutral coloured loafer or slip-on shoe um, would work really nicely. Usually in these capsule wardrobe videos, I mention my Gucci Prince Town loafers, which I still love, use and adore. But I have also recently got the Saint Laurent um, penny loafers, which I've already shown you guys a bunch of times. But yeah, these are fantastic. So comfortable as well. I haven't had to break them in or anything like that. Um, so great for everyday wear. And um, yeah, because they have that bit more of like a chunk to them, they can sometimes make maybe like a simple outfit or like a bit of a boring outfit feel a bit more cool. But yeah, they're just brilliant. And um, there's so many high street versions as well. Our kit have basically an identical pair. So I'll have those linked down below. Okay, not for everybody because I know not everyone likes to wear heels on like a day-to-day -day basis. Personally, I love it because I find them like, well, the kitten heel ones, really comfortable and they just elevate any outfit, make it look so expensive and um, just like businesswoman chic, which I love. Um, so I've got two pairs here. I've got this pair from Zara. Mango have an identical dupe to them right now, which I'll link. Um, so these are in like a really lovely off-white colour. And then I also have my Manolos, which I just adore. I think they are so gorgeous. I'm also sometimes partial to a boot in the spring. I tend not to go for them that often. But I'll put some pictures up on screen on how you could style boots in your spring wardrobe. Um, but they're definitely an option. Accessories wise, you definitely want um, two belts, like a brown or neutral style belt. I love this horse bit one from Arquette. Really cool design, gives it like that Gucci vibe. And yeah, I sometimes think just simply adding a belt to an outfit will really elevate it and make it look so much more thought through. Um, so definitely an accessory not to overlook. And another belt, which I always um, feature in my capsule wardrobe videos, is my Celine belt. This is so loved, so used, but do you know what? It's in perfect condition considering the amount of use it gets. I think this is a really timeless, classic belt. It's not gonna go out of style. I don't think it's gonna have the Gucci effect because obviously um, with the Gucci belt, everyone wore it and it became quite like um, uncool. So for bags, as you guys know, I do like to invest in my bags. I really enjoy collecting designer bags, but it's not for everybody. Um, so in general, I would say go for a black bag and some kind of neutral or white for spring. Um, so I featured my classic Chanel flap um, in the black with gold hardware and my Lady Dior. I actually want to get a little twilly for the handles because I think twillies in spring are really cute. Obviously, I know not everybody wants to go out and buy designer bags, but um, I would say investing that little bit more into them really goes a long way. For example, um, Pauline Paris, um, I think there's a brand called Amelia London, which I sometimes see and always admire. It's a brand that takes care and craftsmanship in the making of the bag. It's something that I think is quite noticeable and really does elevate an outfit and takes it to that next step. So I always wear gold jewellery. Um, I've got my gold hoops in. Gold hoops are definitely a are definitely like a wardrobe staple for sure. And I always feel naked when I don't wear them. So I normally wear like um like a gold necklace, gold hoops, and yeah, for me jewellery always finishes off the outfit and just adds that extra level of interest. To finish off, something I've never done in my capsule wardrobe videos before, but sometimes I feel like outfits aren't complete without perfume. It's like the invisible layer over your outfit that seals it all off. And yeah, my, my perfume taste definitely changes season to season. So I'm gonna show you one that I have been loving recently. This was sent to me uh, from the Penhaligons team, team last week, and it's Perfect for spring, I'm gonna show you. This is High Grove Bouquet, and if spring was captured in a bottle, this is how it would smell. It's so beautiful, so fresh, um, smells expensive, and I really, really love it. Oh my goodness, guys, I nearly forgot sunglasses. There's two sunglasses that I think work really well all year round. So I always either go for a brown pair or a black pair. So the brown pair I'm currently using and loving are um, the Chanel ones. And I just love the little extra pearl detail on the side, super nice. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I'll go for brown if my outfits are more neutral and a bit more light, because sometimes if you have like an all neutral outfit and then black sunglasses, it can feel a bit heavy. But if my outfit has a pop of black in it, I'll go for my Sun Laurent Sunnies, which you guys have seen a million times because I love them. Such a flattering shape. I think these 
I think this shape really suits so many different face shapes as well. And um, then like that cat eye, really flattering. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of the spring capsule wardrobe video for 2023. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go like, subscribe, comment. I always really love reading your comments and getting back to you guys there. So any questions as well, I'll just pop them down below. Now can we take a moment please to just manifest some nice spring weather because oh my goodness, I've never seen so much rain in my life. So if we all manifest team up together, maybe we'll get some sunshine. I love you all so, so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.